Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Ali Geis with the Stormont Valley Event Center. Good morning. Good morning. Always a pleasure to have you guys on the show. I Thank you. always love hearing what's coming to the, the Topeka area, and it's been a pretty good year for you guys, I think. The, does anything particularly stick out for you, kind of looking back at 2022? Yeah, I mean, it's been a great year for the event center, um, and next year is going to be even better. Mm -hmm. But this year, uh, like, a couple of our in-house events did incredibly well. Exactly, um, yeah. Which is exciting, because it's something that we built here. It brings people to Topeka. Um, our uh, Red, White, and Blue Barbecue Festival was in April, um, and we had 80 teams from all over the country come to compete in that. Um, it was huge. And then um, the Haunted House, mm -hmm. the Nightmare on the Boulevard Haunted House, uh, it was our second year doing that. We at least doubled the size of the haunted house, and we at least like quadrupled our attendance. For Amazing. That. Yeah, last year it was three days, and then um, this past year we turned into three weekends. <laughs> Um, and thank goodness we did because people just wanted kept, it. Yeah, yeah. Did, and it kept it, it keeps growing. Is it growing next year too? It sure is. Ooh. Yeah. So we're gonna make it even bigger. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're putting some money into it uh, to really make it, you know, a premier haunted house, uh, not just for Topeka, but for like the whole area. So we're really excited about that. It did really, really well. Are you guys already kind of planning the theme of it at all? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, we've been working with Jinx Productions and uh, you know, before the event's even over, he's thinking about next year. <laughs> of so, course, yeah. Yeah, he's already got a whole plan going on and um, yeah, it's it's gonna be cool. So, uh, yeah, I. I absolutely love that these kind of homegrown events are popping up, and I'm grow I, they're growing. I love that the people in Topeka and the greater area are just coming in and supporting the supporting everything. It's wonderful, Ama absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. But coming up tomorrow night now, the PCRA New Year's Eve Extreme Bowl. What can you tell us about that show? It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, probably. Yeah. So we started it in 2019, mm -hmm. unfortunately, because of COVID. We didn't have it in 2020, uh, even though we wanted to because it's it was great. Mm -hmm. So we've had it um, in 2019, 2021, and so this will be our third year doing it. Um, and it also has grown every single year. Um, we have some of the top uh, bull riders, uh, the PRCA bull riders from across the country coming in to compete here. Um, some, some local stars, too, but... Um, people that are doing really well on the circuit. Uh, they're competing against um, Chad Berger Bulls. Mm -hmm. um, he's the 11 time stock contractor of the year. So he has like the toughest, so most extreme bulls that these riders need to ride mm -hmm. in order to up their ratings. Ooh, okay. So it really brings in a lot of good riders. So it's going to be a great show. It definitely sounds like a lot of fun. And I love that. It's kind of it's New Year's Eve um, evening. It wraps up or maybe ten or so. So you still yeah. have, so enjoy the evening, get some bull riding in, and then go party for exactly. a little bit. Exactly. And some people are like, oh, I want to do something for New Year's Eve, but I'm not the person that stays up till midnight. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. But then it's also perfect for those people that you know still want to go out or go to different events yeah, to bring in the actual New Year. Exactly. But they can come to the biggest New Year's Eve gathering in the whole. Mm -hmm. City. Yeah, go to New Year's, New Year's <laughs> Eve, Bulls, Extreme Bulls, then go downtown or something, yeah. enjoy the night, why not? Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be a blast at that point, I think. Yes. And I love that it's growing every year now, even despite COVID. That uh, seems to be a trend going on across the board. Yes, which makes us happy because, mm -hmm. I mean, we're an event center. We want people there. We want to be able to entertain the community. And so to see that, you know, Topeka and the surrounding communities really support it. It's mm -hmm. awesome. And I know it's also just looking to January, a couple of exciting things going on. We had Tyler here just the other day talking about the Master Buck Classic. I was looking at the calendar. I know there's a girls' night out going on. There I, is. I'm <laughs> curious of what that is. And I, I can't give you a whole lot of detail okay. on that one, um, but I believe it's a male review show. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, held in Heritage Hall. Um, so it's the first time we've had something like this in uh, many years. Um, I think it's a tour, so mm -hmm. it goes to different, oh, okay. uh, different cities. So um, I am blanking on the date of it, but it is in mm -hmm. January. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll look it up on the on the website. It's on the calendar. Yes. Yep. I, and we've got a link to their tickets mm -hmm. also. Little like Magic Mike-ish, if you will. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> something, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Sounds like it could be a fun show. It probably will be. We'll see. Yeah. Why not? And who knows? I may show up. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> You'll enjoy the show from the st from the back of the yes. arena right yeah, there. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, um, 
We mentioned a little bit of some of the reoccurring events, at least love last year. For so next year, we have love the haunted house coming back. We're mm -hmm. doing the barbecue again. Yep. So you, you must be excited about all that for 2023. Oh yeah, and and we've been looking at um, some different concerts too. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing that I can announce right now, but um, there's there, there's going to be another year of you know full of events at the event center that that range from concerts to successful demo derbies which are crazy successful in our blizzard market blizzard bash gotta get in uh, there i know we've sold out blizzard, blizzard bash we sold out the saturday of blizzard bash for the last three years the last two years we've sold out the entire weekend yeah, wow which is our whole arena That's for insane. five shows Ooh. yeah i mean who knew that indoor demolition derbies would be you know our biggest event of the entire year i've always enjoyed the um, show it's so fun it's uh people watching at its finest but um but it really is a lot of fun it's mm -hmm. an experience so I can't wait to see what's in store for the veil in 2023. Yes. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Yes, it All will right. be. <laughs> Allie, thank you so much for joining us thank today. It's me. always a pleasure. And, you know, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And, of course, everybody, for more information and a full list of events, you can go to StormontValleyEventCenter.com. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.